my uh, neighbor right next to my shop has a little uh, chicken and pizza parlor. He just called me up and said that his car is in the surf just out the Westerville Beach approach. He said the waves were hitting it as he was speaking to me on the phone, so I'm going to fly over and grab my truck. And it's a five mile drive where he's at. I've got to drive clip to Westerville, so it's five miles on the highway just to get where he's at. I'm hoping he's not going to be clear under by the time I get there. I'm not sure how hard the tide's pounding. Uh, well, we got a high tide. You can see it out there. It's right at the bottom of the dunes. The waves are I'm pretty close to the sand dunes in front of my house, so the tide is definitely in. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go back down to uh, I'm gonna go back down to 295th or surf side and I'll cut across there because I don't want to go through it either, but I can get across the surf side one. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Well, give me some misinformation. He's actually stuck south of Oyster about a mile and a half, but he's on the south side of the uh, Oyster Road or the Surfside Outflow. I can't cross that high water. Uh, I'm going to go back down the road about probably two miles and cut through the dunes and get to it. There's no way I'm going to cut across that slough. He tried to turn around at the slough and buried himself, so I'm not going to cross it. That's a good way to lose your vehicle. You got to go south about two miles and get him. So about half, three quarters of a mile down here on the right hand side, there's a area that's a walking trail that's close to vehicles. I'm going to drive through that. Uh, Sheriff's Department cuts me a little bit of slack when I drive on closed trails to get the rigs that are stuck. They, I just go through them real slow, and, you know, try and, try and do as little damage as possible. There used to be trails where we could drive our cars out, but our county closed them off here a few years ago, making a deal with the state. This is a different slough than the one where we pulled that burnt car out two days ago. This this slough here is south of the Oysterville approach, the one where the burnt car was in, was north of the Oysterville approach. Now he's had a couple ways to clear past that made canal. This is drained all the rainwater out. Yeah, he's got to go in the front, so this will be a piece of cake. <laughs> He can look it on YouTube. He'll love it. He'll probably put it on his Facebook page He'll have or anything it. else. It'll be on Facebook. It'll be on <laughs> I knew it. I was coming up here. I knew you got on the edge of the slough and you can't do that down here. I didn't think well, about it. look when you walk through. This stuff is so bad. I, know. I just start turning and I just stuck right in. I told you I wouldn't pull anybody out. I didn't tell you what grab on the <laughs> Watch his feet right there. See how he's sinking in? This is. Can you get her? As soon as I start winching, I want you to turn your wheels a little bit left. Just put it in neutral and turn your wheels a little left. If I raise my boom up, I'm breaking the suction on his rig. Can you turn your wheels that way? Go real easy. He's helping a little bit now, but he's still he got the front tires buried down that soft drift, right? This is we're right next to the edge of the uh, slough, and the sand is just like quicksand. It just buries you. 
look at his front tires are just plowing. They're not coming up out of the hole at all. Now try it. Hang it out. Good little four-wheel drive, they just don't like soft, bucky sand. I was just telling him about these edges of these sloughs here. I was walking out here. I don't know if you can see this. The ground is like jello. If you if you step out in it, if you step out in it. That's what the edge of the sloughs look like, and you'll just bury yourself. I went down almost a foot. <laughs> Get out! The whole, it, but the, the edges are like that all over out here. And what happens is the edge of the bank slough off, and the sand doesn't get packed up. It just becomes like a quicksand, and these cars get down into it, and then they're done. I get probably 15, 20 toes a year on the edge of these sloughs.